Your local game store means a lot of things to different people. It's a local hub for socializing with others about your hobbies, a place to network and expand your interests, and a marketplace to sell off pieces as well as to add to your collection. It's basically a nerd pawn shop where secondhand meets high demand, and it can be confusing and intimidating. But don't worry, now you have a friend in the gaming business. My name is Mason, and I'm one of the owners of Cardinal Gaming, a game store in Louisville, Kentucky. And this is Card Shop Candids. What's up, folks? Mason here, Cardinal Gaming. Uh, we're on the move, just right out of the gate, huh? It's kind of weird. Um, welcome to Card Shop Candids. Appreciate you guys clicking on the video, uh, hanging out, coming to the store. Uh, I say coming to the store like you're actually here. You kind of like you are, you know? It's kind of like uh, you're just hanging out. Um, today I want to talk about something, something very particular, um, that a lot of stuff that gets overlooked. And if you're talking about a game store or things that are, you're wanting to work on and get things taken care of, uh, and things that are going to be your bread and butter, uh, this is very important. It's very important that you talk about and figure out how to buy, sell, and manage bulk. I know it's it's not glamorous. It's not very you know make you big monies and, and get you rich, but it is very important because when you get established and get to be an actual like big boy store, I don't know if we're a big boy store yet even, but you know if you start to become a an established store and you get this kind of uh, credibility built up and you have this sort of inventory like what we have here of all of our hard boxes here and all of our card sorting stations here uh, you become an operation where you I mean you're looking at possibly somewhere in the range of uh, oh if I had adventure and gas probably like 200 hours of just man labor <laughs> man labor I don't like that word uh, you know just man hours of, of time and effort and put into uh, putting this type of stuff together even stuff like uh, good old Oath of the Gate watch here, um, and it's all, uh, if you look down in here, it's all set divided by, by number, and it's all divided up there, and all this is in our inventory on our, our website online, which is, uh, I've talked about it several times, but I'm kind of just doing a, a quick rap, recap of what we have going on. Um, all that stuff is available on our website, and you can search and know exactly how many of what cards I have and what condition they are. That is huge. It's monumental. It's, it's, it's next level even above what a lot of the larger stores in my area or, or even uh, maybe in your area are doing because it's just so much dang work and it's so inefficient it's no it's not glamorous and it's not cost effective at all to do all this was not cost effective at all do not recommend if you uh do not intend on being like a store that has and sells and processes a lot of bulk because it's just not worth it. It's just the amount of time and effort that it's going to take you to the amount of money in just these five row boxes. Um, this is, you know, potentially, um, I'm going to throw out a number, probably $800 just in five row boxes. Um, they're, they're getting expensive and they're getting more and more expensive every day. So it's just not worth your time. It's a lot of it. It's just, it's, it's just a lot of work. And again, I got to have, uh, it's not tedious uh, mentally, but it's it is very tedious uh, for to have an employee uh, and sit down and do the stuff. It's very grueling. It hurts your back. It's, it's you know it's not like you're doing back breaking work, but it is. It's very tedious. It does take some time to get through it, and uh, a lot of people don't realize that when you get this going, when you eventually put in the hours and hours and hours to get this type of setup going, that this can pay your rent. This can pay your employees. This can pay for a lot of things that you did not expect bulk to be able to to, to pay for. Because, you know, if you're getting a quarter or a dollar or you know, $3 and up to $5, $10 a card uh, that you may not consider to be, you know, case, we call it case worthy, like what would be in a glass display case. Um, but all those things are definitely bought. And, you know, these cards are bought by the dozens a day and on all these different kind of platforms so having all this stuff and not just for magic but for pokemon and, and all these things um yeah it's it takes time and it takes a lot of effort and it takes 
a ridiculous amount of, of manpower. But when you get there, it kind of gets to be worth it. Kind of. I say kind of. Because there's all these other platforms that you have to sell on. You have to sell on, um, if you're not a part of, uh, there's several things that you can do. Um, TCG Player Direct is probably one of the best ones out there. If you uh, sign up for that kind of stuff and build your inventory out, you can actually uh, keep all the inventory in your house. You know, uh, we have probably, oh god, I don't even want to venture to guess how many. Uh, we might have a million cards in these boxes sorted out, maybe, potentially. I, I really don't know the exact number. But, um, yeah, we, we have, I'm going to say a million cards in here. Um, and it's not like it's a huge amount of space. I mean, just for magic itself. And, of course, you know, you, you're going to pick and choose and not have this large amount. Hopefully not. Um, this is something that you can operate out of, like, a spare bedroom or something in your house. And if you take the time to sit down and, you know, maybe while you're watching a movie or something like that, sort some cards and sort some bulk out and then put it up in a spreadsheet and upload it to TCG Direct. That is something that you can do out of your house because when the cards sell out of the inventory, they ship the cards for you. And then you basically replenish their stock. So uh, TCG Player Direct is, is very, um, it's probably the easiest and best way to do it because you're not having to send out all these anybody orders of cards if you sell, you know, 200 cards and you only one person, you know, one person is only getting one card. So you're getting 200 orders, you have to go and ship and, and do all that. With TCG Player Direct, uh, you basically replenish TCG Player stock so you just have to ship it one time in one package and they give you a sheet that you pull off and you fill the sheet order and then you ship it off to them and they replenish their stocks with it so it's really not a bad deal um but there's a lot of places like that um because of the uh pos system that we use we're integrated with channel fireball and uh, we have uh, dozens and dozens of orders of channel fireball uh every day and uh, again it's not of like groundbreaking money that's gonna be you know um but it is very very effective for our bottom line and it's very once you get it set up it's you know it's very hands-off it, it's you know people go on there and they, they buy their things and, and then you fulfill them uh, once it gets established and then you know it's also doing the dual function of being my active store inventory as well so I can go back here and pull cards for off my online website and then it's also on channel fireball if people order off channel fireball and then I fill those orders and, and ship them out from here as well. So it's, if it wouldn't, wasn't for that kind of functionality, it totally wouldn't be worth it. But when I have two seller platforms drawing from the same inventory, it's totally worth it. And it actually makes up, it, we're making up for this lost time, this lost negative man hour sinkhole cost with all these uh, channel fireball orders. So it's great, it's a really good thing. Um, Let's hop, hop to the back. I got my, I got my robot running. That's what this uh, little clicking noise is. Uh, again, I've shown this in videos before. This is called a Roca sorter, and it's basically going through right now and it's sorting. Oh! Let me see if I can tilt it down. Well, it's got a little arm in there and it's moving around magic cards. It, it just started, so it's sorry, it's kind of loud. It just started, so it's not, uh, you know, not very impressive looking. But uh, you know, it does a thousand cards every hour and a half or so and sorts it by set and picks value out of it. And then we have finally nice and pretty and cleaned up. One of my uh, managers went and took the time to do this. All these nice boxes here, all this is bulk. That um, This is three rows deep. So you're looking at probably, I would say somewhere in the realm of, oh, again, maybe one and a half million magic cards. And then we have this row over here. This is all Yu-Gi-Oh! So three rows of, of you know, how many of tall uh, five row boxes of that. Here's our Pokemon bulk. Again, very, very tall stacks uh, and, you know, several stacks deep. And then this is some more magic that is uh, in the process of, of getting sorted in different directions. So, um, again, it's not glamorous work, but it is something that is very vital to the operation of, of a card store. And that's why when people say, Oh, you're going to get a penny a card. Are you, are you paying a penny a card for this stuff? You're going to turn around and at least get a quarter for it. Well, this is why. Because the sorting, the processing, the just the man hours that is involved in running and establishing this type of setup 
is just so ineffective and cost inefficient. And there's a lot of reasons why stores don't go through the effort like this. This is very out of the norm for even uh, larger stores out there. It's just because it's just so much work and effort. So that's kind of the idea of what we got with bulk. Again, I do not recommend it. <laughs> I don't, I just, I just don't recommend it at all. Um, unless you are wanting to establish yourself as a store for singles and you're going to grind for hundreds of hours before you start to actually get any sort of profit. And it's getting to where, again, where you can turn around and you can sell it, you know, you can buy it for, you know, ten dollars per thousand and then sort those thousand cards and then put it in your inventory and, and yeah you'll get a couple dollars worth of sales uh, a day maybe out of that or over a, a, let's say a, a week span uh, out of that thousand cards maybe luckily you know hopefully if your prices are you know relatively good enough but yeah it's 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 a slow slow grind to get that type of money back out of it and you know you're supposed to cast a wide net and then find some hidden gems in the bulk things that may be a dollar two dollars three dollars and then pay for that ten dollars you just paid for that thousand and then the rest of that would be profit right it's just a it's a long way to go it's a long haul and sometimes you do get lucky sometimes you do get you know that ten dollar card stuck in there and you're like oh well that paid for the 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 ten thousand or the thousand cards yeah sometimes it happens but um that's the reality of bulk. This is the reality of a, a card sorting situation. And uh, yeah, it's it's a hell of a time sink and it's uh, not gonna make you rich at all. Um, if you wanna watch a channel of somebody that's doing it in a smaller scale, this is a great channel. It just hit 200 subscribers, but he has tons of good information. He uses TCG Player Direct. TCG Bulk Kings is his name on YouTube. Watch him, check him out. Uh, I've seen all of his stuff. And I've actually, I have actually learned a lot from it and kind of his process and how on a one-man operation you can kind of make a pretty decent uh, return of your time with this type of stuff. So check him out, uh, and I appreciate you guys checking me out. Uh, that's it for Bulk. Um, just kind of another little, like, little overview. If you have any questions about Bulk, put it down in the comments because I'll definitely come back and talk about Bulk here in the future. So appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much.